Now I'm logged in as a project sponsor, as you can see here on top. And uh, we can go through to see my notification. And uh, let me view all notification. And here is telling me the concept and feasibility stage for project test one was submitted. And I'll go through details. Okay. And what's here? I have to step back and talk about the client admin for a second. Uh, every organization will have a client admin. And if an organization is using one or two or three tailored method, <clears throat> excuse me, then they can actually, if, and they have the stage gate criteria established in the system, they can go into using the client admin account, they can go into the system, select every tailored method and every gate in those tailored method and enter the criteria for them. So it's more like gatekeeping, what are, you know, if, if the company working on some project that they view critical, they need to be able to have decision-making criteria. Uh, if they don't want to leave it loose and basically everybody decide any which way they want. Uh, so basically they can have stage gate criteria. If that was done, if the client admin and the company have already established those criteria, then for this specific gate, we are in this tailored method, which is small, simple project. We are at gate one, right? They would have a criteria that will appear here. If there's nothing, that means we did not enter the criteria. In this case, the sponsor, remember the other sponsor, can enter information about what would be the criteria that he or she is using to approve the stage gate. So maybe for an organization that is learning, they don't have these things established, they can build it as they go. So they can go into through this and then they can start to establish these and save that information. And ultimately they will create the criteria that you know all project can use. Now, let's say we have a criteria. If a criteria popped up over here, we are leave, uh, leaving some flexibility in the system to allow the sponsor to modify. Maybe there is something unique about this project. The criteria is not all of it applicable, so we might need to make adjustment. We are leaving that power here in the hand of the sponsor to do some editing ability. So once we're done, we said set the criteria. You can add decision maker here. If they are uh, on some project, maybe only the sponsor is a decision maker. However, in some organization, maybe on big project, there could be steering committee, there could be other people involved in the decision make making process. They are, you will be able to add them here. And then the team, uh, assuming it's the team reviewing this, they can go and review and they can start uh, the review, which is below, right? That here, and they can, uh, somebody can keep, them, you know, obviously somebody in this case is the sponsor. They need to keep notes um, uh, basically, if there's any discussion that was the point that need to be discussed or added or notified, this is a place where you can put more like minutes of meeting. And then uh, the, the, the sponsor can review every one of these items uh, and have the power to edit any of them if there is need to edit. And then we can go through the whole thing. And at the end, what happened? Decision making. Uh, the sponsor can reject and reject meaning in this context is canceling the project. Okay, it's not about, it's not about rejecting the stage deliverable. It's the stage deliverable required revision, use revise, right? So basically we're telling you, there may be some errors in here and the sponsor want them to be revised. So they can click on revise and a, a box will pop up to put comment and that will go to the project, back to the project manager, right? Because now uh, uh, it is here. But rejecting that means canceling the project. Canceling the project meaning we stop, we close everything, and we go into the PLT closure stage to close the project formally. Uh, for some reason, maybe the organization could decide to put the project on hold, then you push this button. There may be some provisional acceptance where the sponsor can accept, but and basically authorizing the team in a way to proceed, but basically saying, look, you still have to do a few things to do before I can give you final approval. And then final approval. So in this case, I'm going to say, let's approve. So final approval, and you have a box to make a comment, and then we say approve. In a way, now this document become like the charter uh, of the project. 